Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I am coming to you live from my car. And this is day 26. I don't know what's going on with my videos, uh, but I'm gonna figure it out. I think one video got posted with no description of the Bible verses. Um, when I return to my desk, I will make sure I post those things so you, everybody could see them and reference them. Um, I'm from my car. Um, I have some, I've had some early mornings um and i've had some interesting days some long days so um but we're gonna keep putting god first um i have my laptop with me i don't have my actual bible with me um actually yes i do have a bible with me um hold on sis one second sis one second you see that bible it's back there it's back there that's the tony Evans uh, version Yes, I do. Got a Bible. CSV. King, uh, Tony Evans version. So we're going to read Psalms 5 this morning. Um, which says, and this is the CSV version, um, Tony Evans study Bible. And it says here, um, and so the version is going to be different from what I've been typically reading. Um, and it says this, um, listen to my words, Lord, consider my sighing, pay attention to the sound of my cry, my King and my God, for I pray to you in the morning, Lord, hear you, you hear my voice in the morning. I plead my case to you and watch expectantly for you are not a God who delights in wickedness. Evil cannot dwell with you. The boastful cannot stand in your sight. You hate all evildoers. You destroy those who tell lies. The Lord abhors violent and treacherous people. But I enter your house by the abundance of your faithful love. I bow down toward your holy temple and reverential awe of you. Lord, lead me in your righteousness because of my adversaries. Make your way straight before me. For there is nothing reliable in what they say. Destruction is with them. Your throat is an open grave. They flatter with their tongues. Punish them, God. Let them fall by their own schemes. Drive them out because of their many crimes, for they rebel against you. But let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them shout for joy forever. May you shelter them and boast, and, and may those who love your name boast about you. For you, Lord, bless the righteous one. You surround him with favor like a shield. Psalms 5. Going to Psalms 91 in this version. And Psalms 91 in the CSB version says, The one who lives under the protection of the Most High dwells in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say concerning the Lord, who is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. He himself will rescue you from the bird trap, from the destructive plague. He will cover you with his feathers. You will take refuge under his wings. His faithfulness will be a protective shield. You will not fear the terror of the night, the arrow that flies by day, the plague that stalks in darkness, or the pestilence that ravages at noon. Though a thousand fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, the pestilence will not reach you. You will only see it with your eyes and witness the punishment of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord my refuge, the most high your dwelling place, no harm will come to you, no plague will come near your tent. For he will give his angels orders concerning you to protect you in all your ways. They will support you with their hands so they will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the lion and the serpent because he his because he has his heart set on me. I will deliver him. I'll protect him because he knows my name. When he calls out to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and give him honor. I will satisfy him with a long life and show him my salvation. Psalms 91, the CSV version. Uh, now, today's topic is about patience. Um, I'm leaning because I don't want to hold my phone. That's bad, but um, patience. And it comes at a really good time for me because I'm in a season where I am expected to wait well. And I, there's some days where sometimes I'm frustrated and I look too far ahead. 
And one thing that I noticed is that as a result of me being frustrated and looking too far ahead, yes, my hands are ashy. Um, when I look too far ahead in that season, um, that's when I start getting uh, beside myself and not trusting God. And, and when we ask for patience, I firmly believe that every time somebody asks for patience, that's when trials come. Your patience is going to be, you're going to be taught patience, right? And so I'm very mindful about asking for patience because I, you, you go through some stuff to be taught patience. And I thank God for patience because I've been in a lot of seasons where I had to be patient, right? And it's not, I, I will, I will admit, it's not easy, especially when you are one that is really trying to separate yourself from the world. Um, and you're so focused on seeing, you, you see what your, your physical senses, but it's so important that we talk to the Holy Ghost and see with our spiritual senses and not what we see with the God, eyes God gave us. Um, I believe that what, what we see with the eyes God gave us, I believe that we should see it and we should be in awe of God's creation and very protective and good stewards of God's creation. But when we start seeing with our our senses and the eyes and we see somebody else doing stuff, we start comparing ourselves, we start doubting ourselves, that all those things are thieves of the enemy, right? And um, to get it right, we have to submit the, even those emotions to God and we have to you know, thank God for patience and know that he will always answer our prayers whenever we call just what we read in Psalms 5. Now, and just reading my notes off of my laptop, it says here, but if we hope, and this is Romans 8, 25, but if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. <clears throat> Romans 12, 12 says, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction and faithful in prayer. So even when the tides are rough, and the waves are big and trials keep coming you continue to pray no matter what continue to pray continue to fast continue to seek god continue to study his word um because he will always answer your prayers always and he always hears us and galatians 6 9 says let us not become weary and weary in doing good for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up um, and that is so important. Like sometimes we see stuff going on, we're ready to give up. And I feel like that giving up is telling God your way is not working. I'm just still going to do me because even just not doing an action is an action, right? Um, and so we have to be careful of that saying, we're just going to give up. We're just going to stop. All right. Cause God doesn't want us to stop. He wants us to keep going. Um, Another one, as I'm reading, it says, let me see, um, I'll read two out of Psalms. Psalms 37 says, be still, 37, seven says, be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. Um, and sometimes people do stuff because they're, they're might you don't know the, you don't know the intent, you know, don't know the heart of what people have going on. Um, and so that's why it's so important just be mindful of things like social media. Um, I personally had to delete some apps, like I said in other videos, because it was, it, I admit, it was getting to me. It was starting to get to me. Um, yeah, you know, and just being in this season, um, someone who's desiring marriage, someone who's desiring a family, it's rough, especially, you know, you let society tell you that you hit an age cap on certain things ain't nothing but the enemy okay ain't nothing but the enemy um god can as a female and a man expecting you know waiting on his wife to have kids god can open up your wound in such a way man he could if he could do it for sarah he could do it for you he could do it for your wife he could do it whoever you're praying for to have a baby um and same thing like uh ladies gentlemen if we keep doing what we do we stay focused on the purpose that god has for us you have no idea who god will make sure you cross god will make sure you cross paths with your covenant partner um and but you just got to be patient for it just gotta be patient for it um talk to god really talk to god really talk to him through prayer talk to just really just have that conversation like you just talking to your best friend um, and 
listen to what your best friend says because that best friend created the whole universe okay the mother best friends ain't do nothing for you as in terms of creating the universe and restoring your health and that type of thing that's what i mean by that okay now god has given us good friends um uh, for good fellowship for sure um but ultimately god is the one who gives the increase um and so i wanted to hop on here i won't be on here long because um Patience is something that I'm thankful to God for. And I know because of the season I'm in, the abundance of patience is, has been growing. And I'm so thankful to God for that. Um, as I wait on my own family, as I wait for my covenant partner and my husband, and as I wait for different things to happen on my job, um, as I wait for different things going on, that's why it's so important to keep praying until you see something happening. You keep praying for a breakthrough. You keep praying um, for miracles. You keep praying. I mean, like, really keep praying. You know, you have to keep knocking, okay? Keep knocking, keep knocking, keep knocking, and keep seeking God in this season as your patience grows, right? Um, and like I said, I have experienced that on a lot of different levels where my patience is definitely expanding. Um, however, God is good and I'm so thankful for his grace and his mercy. Um, like, I apologize, my videos have been really wonky lately. Um, so I'm gonna make sure this is uploaded. I'll post the details of the scripture from yesterday's video, which is day 25. I am recording these on the day of However, like I said, the videos are uploading really crazy. So um, I pray that this blesses you today. And just knowing that patience, we when we ask for patience and we go through some trials, okay? Um, and sometimes those trials are, they, they shape us. They grow us, they shape us. And when you take on the perspective of knowing that you're going through something because you need to learn something, that's the that's the most important position to take. What am I learning from this? What am I supposed to learn from this? And sometimes you don't even just being real. Sometimes the learning experience is rough. You're like, oh, I want to get out of it so badly. And I can totally relate because I've been in some trials and some storms and some tribulations that I just want out of. I just want out of. Um, but I always think to my head, what is I'm supposed to learn out of this? It has to be something I'm supposed to learn from this. Um, and so be encouraged today. Um, God sees you. God hears you. God knows, sees your tears. Um, God is a comforter. He is our rock. He is our refuge. And that's how good God is. So let's go ahead and pray. Father God in heaven, I thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning, Lord. Thank you for getting us started on our way, Lord. Thank you for your word in Psalms 118, 24, where it says, this is the day that you have made, Lord, and we will rejoice and be glad in it, Lord. So thank you, Lord. We will take advantage of this gift that you have given us of today, Lord. For those that are listening to the sound of my voice, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for giving breath in our body, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for waking us up, Lord. Lord, thank you for thank you for looking after us, even when we were unsure of ourselves and doubting ourselves, Lord. Thank you, Lord, Lord, for your perfect peace. Peace. Thank you, Lord, for being a refuge in our salvation, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for being the one we call on every single morning, Lord, because you have redeemed us, Lord. You have redeemed us awake, Lord. You have healed us from whatever the enemy has tried to steal overnight, Lord. Father, forgive us of all of our sins, both known and unknown, Lord. Lord, we, we pray and ask for forgiveness for not taking time to get close to you, Lord, and being distracted by other things, Lord, being distracted by work, being distracted by projects, being distracted just to be distracted, Lord. Lord, forgive us for being distracted and not knowing how to manage our emotions through trauma, Lord, and forgive us for being on social media way too long, Lord, not utilizing the time that you have given us, Lord, to be productive, Lord. So, Lord, forgive us for not waiting well by 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 utilizing distractions that don't really have any meaning for us lord lord forgive us lord lord forgive us lord thank you for your son jesus lord thank you for your patient son jesus lord thank you lord thank you lord glory to your name lord and jesus we thank you that you are our teacher our friend the one who re who who stood in the gap for us to have a right relationship with you lord thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord 
Holy Ghost have your way on this day, Lord. And, and, and I pray that, Lord, that the Holy Ghost have the way in others who are listening to the sound of my voice in this day, Lord. We pray that the Holy Ghost will intercede on someone's behalf today, listening and, and leaning into what the Holy Ghost has to say, Lord, as our guide, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you. Angels, we pray that you be remain encamped around our young adults, Lord, our young children, Lord, that are out here, Lord, committing violent crimes, Lord, not sure what to do, Lord, getting on drugs, Lord. Lord, we ask that you, that the angels would be sent around these young people, Lord, and we, and we pray that they are protected along as they walk throughout their day or go about their day, Lord. Lord, we, we ask for protection over these young people, Lord. These are our future, Lord. We pray for protection for them right now, Lord. Lord, we pray for the woman that is waiting for her husband, Lord. We pray for the man that is waiting for her, for his wife, Lord. We pray for the family, the husband and wife waiting for, for children, Lord. We pray abundance over their lives, Lord. Lord, we pray that these individuals cross paths with their covenant spouse, Lord. Lord, we pray that you open up their womb right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for what you will do in this season, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the season of learning and experiencing, Lord, that we can apply it to the next level of our lives that you have planned for us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you know all of our thoughts, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you know all of the plans you have for us, Lord. Ultimately, because you can get the glory, Lord, so you can solely get the glory, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Glory to your name, Lord. It is these things that we ask for in the name of Jesus. We do pray. Amen, 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 amen. Short video today. Um, and I say short video today because even in my own life, um, I have to get repositioned to really um, put some understanding and some focus about patience. So, um, yeah. So, like I said, give me a little bit while I do some editing on my YouTube videos because, like I said, they're all out of whack. I don't know what's going on with them, but that's all right. It's going to get fixed. Um, but you guys have a great day. Please take some time to get into God's Word today, even if you need to study a devotion um, or devotional. Um, and you know what? Pray for me. Pray for me. Um, I'm human too. You know, I, like I said, I desire that husband too. Um, I desire that family too. Um, and so for those that might be watching, I desire for healing of some of some of my friends or all of my friends. Um, I pray for forgiveness uh, of people that um, have wronged me. And I pray for forgiveness of people that I've wronged. And ultimately, I pray for forgiveness for myself. So um very human <laughs> um and that's why it's we have to take up our cross daily daily um so pray for me you know what i'm saying i love 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 um prayers to me as well or prayer not to me but for me so um but you guys have a fantastic day i love you